My name is Bob. I'm 67 years old, and I have these mystery spots all over my body. These sores are on my forehead, cheeks, stomach, right and left arm, and my legs. Fortunately, I have never had them in any of the nether regions. <laughs> the first sore popped up around 2015. I fell, had an accident, broke my arm, and I had a huge infection. I fell on something that transferred to my skin. I believe that it is a live organism that travels through my body to propagate. They literally make little tunnelways. I've been to seven skin doctors. My first dermatologist stated that I was suffering from something called parasite psychosis, which is imagining that you have something crawling underneath your skin um, that would cause you to scratch, uh, itch, and possibly even cut your skin. Hearing this doctor and others that followed him say that you don't have all your marbles, that you're not all here, is very aggravating. They seem to have a preconceived notion about people who have marks on their skin, that they're doing it to themselves, but there's absolutely no way. <laughs> when every single doctor that you look to, to help you, to save you, they refuse to do anything that makes me lose faith in the medical industry. I don't necessarily feel hopeless, I feel helpless. This skin condition affects my relationship so much. I have not been in the same bed with Laura in over seven years because if this could be contagious, I can't risk her getting this. This condition has taken away the tenderness, the intimate life, and that's more painful than these sores could ever be. The longer I go with no answers makes me very upset. I have never had any kind of mental health issue, so I hope that Dr. Lee can take an honest look at my skin and try to fill in the blanks. Well, hello. How Finally get to meet oh, Dr. Really? Lee. Uh-oh. <laughs> How are I've you? I've heard so much about you. It's very nice to oh, meet you, we're, sir. We're a bit... Well, nice to meet you, nice too. To aren't you lovely? Who is this? Is this your better this, half? This is my girlfriend of over 23 years. Oh, you're Bob. Okay. Yes. I see your arms look like they're all beat up. What's going on? Well, I broke my arm. Yikes. And when they changed the bandages, the nurse that came said, you have a bad rash or an infection. When did this happen? How long ago? Seven years ago. Seven years ago, okay. It has spread and spread. I believe it's maybe a parasite that had gotten in there, like what dogs would get, animals would get, like a skin mite, where it okay. gets into your skin, it well, irritates. You and... know, humans get mites too. Sure. There's scabies, which is very sure. um, specific for humans. I've seen countless dermatologists. Everyone has told us this is an imaginary type thing. Well, it never goes away. Okay. Bob and Lorna, they're such a sweet couple, and they've been dealing with this for a while, seven years, dealing with a mystery condition. Sounds like other doctors have dismissed his condition, but you know, people can have parasites living on their skin, and that's part of dermatology. Let me see your arm, because usually if we look for scabies, if we look for mites, we see like burrowing. We usually look for them around the wrists, that's where they hide. Actually, the inside of your wrist is really nice and clean. But it looks like the shapes have moved or tunneled. Okay. Can I lift up your shirt sure, and go see ahead. your back? Go ahead. Oh, look at how pretty your back is, though. Oh. <laughs> That's how his skin used to be. Your back looks really good. After taking a look at his skin, I can rule out scabies because usually you present with a rash in particular distribution. But there are some signs and symptoms that he's showing that makes me think and look in a different direction. I know, you know, there you feel that there are parasites there, but I don't really have any evidence of that. I would love if you would just put it under a microscope to see if there's a 
organism that is in there. That's all okay. that I want. That's all he wants. Yeah. Because if, mean, you, if you say there's nothing. We can do that, nothing. but what if I say there's nothing there? Okay. Well, let's try that then. Okay. Okay? You can look at it yourself and see what you think. Dr. Lee says you're scratching it or you're itching at it, but she's going to actually take a sample and put it under a microscope. All right. Have a seat, Dr. Lee. We'll be right with you, okay? I hope that Dr. Lee can see what I see on my skin. Which one do you think would be better for us to maybe see something under the microscope right away? The one on your right upper arm? That one looks fresher? Yes, this one. OK. So this one here, though, we're going to send for biopsy. OK. Bob insists that he wants me to look at a skin sample right here, right now. Even though I'm not suspicious that there is a parasite here, that might be helpful for two reasons. First, taking a sample might give us a diagnosis. There are some people who know their own skin better than anybody else. And also, it will make Bob happy. He will know that we're trying to find an answer here. I'm gonna take a couple samples here. One of them I'm gonna send for a formal biopsy just to get a dermatopathologist's read on this. And the other one, I'm gonna take that piece of tissue and just put it under our microscope here. Yeah. Now I'm gonna place the sample on a slide and go over to my microscope so I can take a good look. Okay, let me hold this up here. No other dermatologist has ever done what she's doing right now. And I can't wait. She will see things that <laughs> probably blow her away. There will be hundreds of these little parasites crawling and glisten. OK, so I have a little video of it. OK. I mean, that's like a little hair I see. There's a little blood there, of course. There's nothing moving in there. So just a lot of. Okay, well, what what would that be right there? Right. It could be dirt, you know? It's not like there's eyes on it, or I can't say that that is anything. OK. Looking at this sample, it does not give me closure. To me, it's hard to actually discern what is in and underneath that slide. But Dr. Lee did something that no other dermatologist has ever done. So I thank her so much for that. So I'm going to send this biopsy in. I'm going to tell them to look at it and see if they see anything. And let's see if we can come to some more answers for you here, OK? OK. I really want to hear from her. Hopefully, something will come about with the results that come from the biopsy, maybe some medication that she can prescribe, or different types of treatments or techniques which will help. I can never say enough thank yous to her for her willingness to search for the answers, and I will never forget that.